Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. President Joe Biden has officially dropped out of the 2024 presidential race. I will read the letter that he posted on X today. On be over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Today, America has the strongest economy in the world. We've made historic investments in rebuilding our nation and lowering prescription drug costs for seniors and expanding affordable health care to a record number of Americans. We provided critically needed care to a million veterans exposed to toxic substances, passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court, and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together, we overcame a once in a century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. We've protected and preserved our democracy and we revitalized and strengthened our elite alliances around the world. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as a president, as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek reelection, I believe it is the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision. For now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me reelected. I want to thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work. And let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you have placed in me. I believe today what I always what I always have that there is nothing America can't do when we do it together. We just have to remember we are the United States of America. That was his initial statement. And 30 minutes later, after I guess the people around him start thinking about who's going to replace him as the nominee of the party that he came out and stated uh, <clears throat> that my fellow Democrats, I have decided not to accept the nomination and to focus all my energies on my duties as president for the remainder of my term. My very first decision as the party nominee in 2020 was to pick Kamala Harris as my vice president. And it's been the best decision I could have ever made. Uh, but I want to uh, turn over all of my nominees, all of my delegates over to Kamala Harris as the 2024 presidential candidate of the Democratic Party. So it took him 30 minutes to, to, to get his head together and realize, well, I better nominate my vice president because she is my running mate and she is the first African-American vice president. And if he wouldn't have done that, it would have been a, a serious blowback. But he still has two issues to deal with. Are the Democratic Party going to accept Kamala Harris as their nominee for the 2024 presidential race? Are the delegates going to back her? Are the people around the country going to back her as their as the uh, heir apparent to to his uh, presidency? And number two, is he able to fulfill his duties until uh, January of 2025? If he can't run for re-election, how can he fulfill his role as president of the United States going forward until they put someone else in that position? Those are the questions that he has to be answered going forward. Uh, it's going to be a crazy, I've never seen it in my lifetime, where a person that's in the office of president decides to step aside after his first term, saying that he will not run for re-election. I don't know of a, a president that hasn't run for re-election in my lifetime. Maybe you have in yours if you live long enough, but I have never seen it. So we will see how the cookie crumbles on the Democratic side. We already know that the Republican side is set with uh, President Trump and J.D. Vance. That ticket is set, and now we shall see how the Democrats do their part in their uh, uh, nominating process for who's going to hit the Democrat side. And, you know, we had over 37 Democrats come out and say, hey, Joe, you need to step aside. And we had several senators come out. <clears throat> you had John Tester. You had Sherrod Brown of Ohio. And you had, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, man, I forgot his name already. I could see his face. Manchin. Joe Manchin come out and say, hey, it's time for you to step aside. And behind the scenes, you had uh, Barack Obama, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, all telling Joe Biden, it's time for you to step aside. And it all stems from that first presidential debate where he just fell apart right there in front of our eyes. Everybody saw it on national TV. So nobody can say that Joe Biden did an exceptional job at that debate. We all saw it. And it was abhorrent to see a president 
behave in such a way than not have command of the issues. He should have been said, hey, I'm going to turn this over to Vice President Harris and run the country because I can't mentally do this no more. But the media and all the people around him pushed him forward as being that guy over 50 years of service that he can somehow continue to carry the mantle when he couldn't. <clears throat> and now he has COVID. But I wish him the best. I wish his future endeavors go well as he's hopefully either he steps aside or he continues. Nobody knows the answer to that question. But we're hoping that he, his health continues to do well, that he recovers from this COVID, and that if he can do the job, that he'll continue to do the job that he's doing. <clears throat> Not that I agree with his policies, but that he'll, if he can do the job, let him continue to do the job, let him end his term and go on off into the sunset and live the rest of his life in peace. And we'll hope what happens in 2024, in the November election, will change the course of the way our country has been run. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you can like this video, hit that like button. Please share the video. If this is your first time here. Please consider subscribing to the Retired Vet Show. God bless you all. Stay safe.